Macca's guides. <laughs> Hey guys, Maka here playing Battlefield Hardline. These are all the collectibles in episode 3 Gator Bait, including evidence needed for case files and warrants. In this mission, we will have a total of 15 things to collect. First off, once you meet your first little group of enemies here, you'll see three enemies directly in front of you as you kind of first gain control of your character and have a weapon. Uh, one of those three characters will be a warrant, so uh, pull out your scanner, make sure you analyze them for the warrant. And what I like to do is I just go up to all of them, make them freeze, and arrest all three of them. It kind of makes your life a little simpler, but if you so desire, feel free to use your taste gun on the main person you're going to be arresting. And then you can just shoot all the other guys if you feel like it, um, so keep that in mind. Now, after I arrest all three of these guys, just uh, to make sure they don't get in the way, uh, I did get my warrant, obviously, you make sure you see it on the screen. After that, um, look down and you'll see this large white uh, substance like on the ground. The so time. make sure you analyze that. That's gonna be case B evidence number three. And then from that area, come out of your scanner and back up and turn around 180 degrees behind you. Uh, in front of you, you'll see a boat on the dock and you'll also see a barrel for case D evidence one. Again, we jump from case to case in every mission. So that's gonna be pretty standard. Case D, evidence number four. Again, these ones aren't numbered in the order that they would come up in your menu, but this is probably the best way to go through them, and the game does this very often. Um, so we're going to get in the boat, and we're going to turn around. That's the first thing we're going to do, um, because we're headed in a different direction anyways for one of the main objectives, so it doesn't really matter. Just turn around as soon as you do get in the boat. Power your way down this uh, this river or this lake. It's, it's a lake. Um, and as you kind of enter this open area, you'll see a tower in the very middle of this big open area, what you're going to want to do is approach and dock your boat. Um, as you exit the vehicle, you'll have a short, short cinematic. Um, you'll get out, you'll want to equip your grappling hook in order to uh, set up that rope right there to reach the top of this tower. Once you set up that rope, you're going to want to climb it to the top. Then you're going to want to take out your zipline gun and you're gonna to wanna to aim it to the left. There's a little opening on that other tower across. You're gonna to wanna to make sure you hit that opening or else you won't actually land in that tower. And then once your zip line's set up, you're gonna to want to zip line across. Once you do land, you might get an achievement or trophy for zip lining a certain amount of meters. But um, as you do land, there should be a little bit um, of a map here called the zoning map. Um, and that's gonna be case D evidence four. Now what we're going to do is run back to your boat and get on your boat and we're going to go to the gator farm. Now you can do a whole bunch of different things here but I recommend this order as it makes the most sense with the story and whatnot. So we're going to turn to the right hand side after we undock from that tower we were just at. And we're going to keep following this river all the way down. Now keep in mind your map will probably look a little different than mine because I did visit the gator farm before. So if you're visiting for the first time, there will be a little icon on your mini-map as far as I remember. The Gator Farm has a small pinwheel at the top that you'll notice, and you'll want to dock your boat and get off. Now that we're off, the first thing we're going to do is go for the warrant. So we're going to run onto uh, kind of the mainland here. There's a whole bunch of enemies, and they do have a certain patter that, pattern that they walk in. Um, but if you get a good vantage point... You should be able to see all the enemies, and one of them will have a warrant. Now, you can't actually analyze them unless you see their face, which is why I haven't analyzed that guy quite yet. If I just run to the right-hand side here, I'm going to be sneaking. All the enemies are up, obviously. Um, so you want to take them out one by one or do whatever you want. You can go a little aggressive like uh, I have been mentioning previously and just tase him. Actually, never mind. In this mission, you do not have a taser, so you can't do that. Um, just make sure you make your way over to him slowly, and I, I like to make him freeze and arrest him, um, and that's how you're going to get that. Now, as soon as you arrest him, search his body like we did in the previous chapter. He's going to have case D evidence number three on him, so make sure you search him. After you search him and find the newspaper story, uh, back up off of his body, and I've taken out all the enemies at this point in order to uh, just freely walk around. If you come back into this hut that we came in near the dock, you'll see that there's these two boots that you can scan um, or analyze uh, for evidence number six. And then if we turn away from those boots and head to the very, very middle of this area, we can find evidence number five for case D. In the very middle, you'll see a dead alligator, which you can analyze as well. So you want to obviously do that to make sure you get it. And make sure that it says 3 out of 3 in the top left of your screen before you analyze that gator or when you pull out your scanner afterwards. 
Next up, we are going to leave the gator farm now. After we've done the story stuff on that island. Don't just leave right away. Um, and once we get back on our boat, because we are told to get back on our boat, we'll want to just come down the river 180 degrees back from where we kind of came from. You'll come through this big open river. Stick to the left-hand side. You'll see some huts on the left-hand side there. You can visit that island, but there's just some story stuff there. If we keep going, we'll notice... Um, a small hut in the middle of the water and this hut's going to be completely on its own You can dock onto this small island. So that's what you're going to want to do This is one of the only missions in the game If not the only mission that's kind of as open as it is a lot of the other missions later on is a, li a little bit more linear um, But as soon as we get on this island, you'll see in the top left of the screen. It says the huts area um, You'll see that there is a toxic barrel for you to analyze from that barrel We're going to hop back on our boat and now we're going to head towards the sawmill, which should be the last kind of clue notification on your map. If we take a right-hand turn after we undock um, and just kind of continue forward, you'll see a, a half a bridge on the water. We'll continue a little bit forward here. Um, and then you'll see a small tower in front of you, and you can also dock on this tower. Uh, keep in mind, you don't have to to progress the story, so this one's very, very easily missable. This is evidence number seven in case D. Once we do dock, we're going to want to make sure to take out our grappling gun, and we're going to go up that tower right there. Uh, so just shoot the grappling gun on the corner there, and then use the rope in order to climb to the top, where you will find a kilo of cocaine uh, as part of your evidence here. So just scan it, and that's going to be that one. Now, all last five of the remaining collectibles are all at the sawmill, which is where the story, kind, where this mission rather ends. Um, what you're going to want to do, the first thing I like to do in an open area with a lot of different evidence and things is I like to go for the warrant because it makes the most sense because you can take out the warrant guy and then go loud, kill the rest of the enemies, and then pick up your evidence afterwards. Uh, so you'll come up to this watchtower and you'll notice there is a warrant for Nathan Brown. Now he does like to walk around, but he tends to usually go uh, on out on his own. And he kind of sticks near the back of the area. Uh, there is an alarm in this area, which is a, a, a new thing in the game as far as up to this point. So you can turn off the alarm if you so desire. Now I'm just going to sneak kind of right through the middle behind this guy repairing the car. And uh, just make my way towards the warrant. Uh, the warrant guy and again you can tase him you can just run up to him and tase him you can do whatever you want i like to make him freeze and then arrest him it does get you more points and it's a lot safer as well so now that he's about to come around this corner i'm going to tell him to freeze and arrest him he is on his own like i mentioned so you shouldn't have much of a problem here after he gets arrested you'll get the uh the warrant uh recognition for it or whatever you want to call that now, I've taken out all the enemies and kind of gone back to the beginning of this area, so this should all look uh, quite uh, normal to you. Uh, to the left-hand side, you'll see a small dock with a roof, and inside that dock is a stained boat, so make sure you look at that piece of evidence. Now, we're going to go back to kind of where we got the warrant guy, and just to the left of him here, there's three or two or three huts. They're like small outhouses slash workbenches. Um, inside of one of them you will find a water filtering system or a water testing sampling system rather and then for evidence number 10 this is the second last piece of evidence in this mission uh, walk towards that container but don't go into it quite yet uh, on this log behind uh, the log you'll see a small note that's stuck on there via a knife you'll want to obviously look at it and then from there we can go on into the container which does trigger a cinematic and does kind of uh, lead to the end of the level. Obviously, I'm going to skip forward because I don't want to spend two minutes watching the cinematic. Um, after you do get, regain control of your character, turn to the left-hand side, look on the desk, and you should see some small uh, a manila envelope, I think it's called in the game. And uh, you can scan that, and that's all 15 collectibles in episode number three. If you want to check out episode number four and continue along with the series, feel free to click on the screen. You can also comment or like the video to help me out. You can also subscribe for future content. Thanks for watching. Peace.